That's right, track fans. I'm lost to four words. Le Mans. Le Mans. Disca. 24 hour digital slot car race. 2023 held in Derby, Central UK. Fantastic. As you can see, I'm so lost for words. I couldn't really begin to articulate how good this was. So I've made a video on it and you can watch it and enjoy it. And hopefully I've captured some of the magic of the race. Um, a couple of other YouTubers, Johnny S and Car Fun Mostly, were also there. So make sure you tune into their channels and get all the coverage that I didn't get and some. Brilliant. But a special thanks to Gary, Alex and his team putting on an amazing event. Cheers, Gaz, Alex. Wow! I tell you, that was corking. Uh, unbelievable. Unbelievably good. The cars were amazing. The people were amazing. The venue... It was amazing and it was just so well organized from the start, from getting a driver's guide to an official press pass. That's really impressed me, by the way. Um, right through to unfettered access within reason across the board. So we are, uh, we, I say that, me, Johnny and Wayne, we had a good time. If you, if you want to see more, um, at the time coverage flip over after you've watched this to the live section on my youtube channel track fans tv you can see i've worked out i streamed for 12 hours and whilst the bandwidth wasn't that great causing the imagery to be slightly blurry you can actually make good you can hear the conversations you can hear the interviews you can hear the excitement in the room really well and it's quite quite nice to have on in the background if you're pottering around doing some painting and stuff or spraying cars or tuning them up, whatever you want to do. So check that out. But here are my highlights in super quality, great sound. And I think what you're about to see is going to inspire you to even consider coming racing. So there's slot car clubs all over the country waiting for you to get in touch with them, to go racing and get enthused by the hobby. Uh, although, as I said in one of the lives, I actually think that when you're at this level in a, a disc a slot car, digital slot car racing, it's it's more of a sport because it's so involved. You've got a team rather than just an individual racer. It is a sport, a team sport. So if it's a sport or a hobby to you, who knows? I don't mind. Just enjoy the video. Keep tuned in to the channel and I'll see you all on the next one. Thanks, Disca, you were amazing. All right, so I'm on the podium. Been allowed up here to have a quick overview of the track in a minute. But what you can see here, what you can see here, hang on. is the actual connectors where you plug your controllers into. You can see on the floor there's a number. That's what we were talking about on the live stream. If you didn't see the live stream, check out the live stream. But what these do is you plug your controllers into here and that gives you control of the car over the overall track. So I'll put this up on the uh, community tab for all to see, but you do have a layout of the track. So let's take a look at it. I'll walk you around the corners and we'll see where each, each area of interest on the race will be. Right, so as promised, let's take a little stroll around the track. I'm gonna stay up here for the time being. I'm gonna do this from an overview and then we'll start here. This is the pit lane. So as you'll see from the left there, you've got those uh, exercise blocks. They're basically a point of no return. So unless you're waiting to collect your car from the pits, you're not allowed in that space. There. So we've got a pit lane. Then we're straight down to the Dunlop Bridge, where you can see a test car going through. He's testing his kit out into 
the S la Forêt, and then the Tete Rouge. So the first S bend there, followed by that long stretch round to the right, the Tete Rouge, which then leads you into the long Mulsan straight, as my camera tracks it here, straight up into the top end, the Mulsan Kink, which then comes round to Mulsan Corner, Coubre de Golf, down here into the Indianapolis chicane, <clears throat> through the Arnage Corner, bringing it down the long stretch here, straight into the Porsche curves. Through here, we've got a number of corners. This corner here, Virage de Pont. I know my French is sick, right? We got the karting bend into Corvette corner and then round finally into the Ford chicane before you get back round to the pits. So on an overall, this track is absolutely massive. Absolutely massive. I would give probably my left leg to have a go on this right now, but there's no way I'm driving any of these cars and ruining uh, somebody's, somebody's car ahead of the race. So, that's the track. Like Adam is having fun right now. Yeah, what is it you're doing, Ad? I'm, I'm putting all the, the netting on the back to stop it so you can't see uh, okay. into the car. Is that like a, a rule then, that you yeah. can't have an open back? It is, pretty much. It's just one of them. Nice. Like, so they look correct. Let's uh, get a look in your car. Go on, that's it. Nice, looking good. And then got like technology in here as well. Homemade um, lighting kit. Yeah. You made this, didn't you? Yeah. I've been designing it for about six years, just really? tweaking it every so often. Is it lightweight that kind of... Yeah, so this is just like an eBay board. Yeah. I've chopped up and then put the right resistors on and then... Where did you learn this stuff? You play around with it, you blow a few <laughs> up, don't do that again. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, but then the some of the circuit board is on the, the actual chassis itself as well. Okay. So the actual like battery part of it is part of the chassis. Wow. So to keep the body shell light yeah, and yeah. then the weight lower down. Cool. And then this basically just plugs into that yeah. circuit part. Do you have ID lights, so uh, colourful lights, so you know yeah. what uh, which yours in the dark? Sort of. So we, we've got two like two lights at the front. Yeah. But we've also got um, the number panels light up as well as oh really a little thing. Just something. I can't like, wait to see that later. It looks really good. Actually. That is gonna be awesome. Right. All right, let's get on, I mate. I think I'm one of the first people to do it. So. Yeah. Well, you know, if you uh, I do try. You lead, they'll follow. Mm. They'll be like, uh, I can't remember who we were, they had like such bright lights on it one year. Oh, I've had to turn them down. They the could they the just ruin the, the night race. Yeah, the rest of the team, they, our lights were too bright, so I've had to dull them down a bit. Oh, okay. So. What colour are you gone for? Just white, just plain black. Okay. white. Oh, did I? Yes. You can't so, do like so uh, rainbow. Yeah, unfortunately not. <laughs> not that I don't know whether I do of, that. There's but a lot of pride yeah. in that, there's yeah. a lot of pride in that. <laughs> And then all, all repairs have to be done here, don't they? Yes, yeah, so basically, yeah. So, cool. so you're not doing anything that you shouldn't be doing. So who would do that? I don't know. I don't know who would do that. Who would do that? <laughs> not <laughs> not here. <laughs> so. It's about pushing the boundaries. Cheers, Adam. Thanks, Thank mate. You. Okay, and here's everyone's cars. We'll have a look at these better on the concourse. We're going to get involved with them and give you a bit of description on what they are, what class they're racing in. If you wasn't experienced enough to already know what class they belong to. So for instance, that one there is gonna be GT. Even I know that. Whereas what's the difference between that one and that one? Well, we'll find out. We will find out when we get on the concourse of happiness. Hang on, what are we looking at, Adam? LMP2 with blue. Yeah. 
LMP1 with red. Ah, uh, okay. And Does that lend true with the name tags then? Sort of, yeah. Yeah, yeah we're GP discussing that. Green. Right. Well, okay. Yeah. That's good. That's really good to know, actually. So we've got easy ID. And we know whose car to slow down, put him back on the track, on a D slot. Uh, no, I wouldn't do that. can see is we've got let's get some levelality we've got the teams making final preparations to their car it's all looking good obligatory coffees in this is going to be a long day we've got some dentistry going on here he's uh, there's some chassis tune in here it's just tune it up Getting some weight, maybe some weight, maybe to fit the engine pod in. We'll take it away. We're in posting without asking. Team briefing happening. We all know that this is who's going to McDonald's at 5 p.m. Uh, it looks like might be a sweepstake on that one. Pushing past. Got a lot of activity in the pit lanes, as you can see, right up to the door. And then on the far side, more pit action, lots of fine, lots of uh, preparation of the spare parts. Because I'm going to whip you around quickly. As we saw Adam a moment ago, over at the race control, you can see Mr. Skip He's sitting there just contemplating correspondence. Right next to it, to the left, is the technical bench. Now, they've got a couple of lamps on. If you're doing any repairs or modifications to your car during the race, you have to do it at that table there. That's the rules. That's so there's no skullduggery afloat. There's no cheating. Not that anyone in here would dream of cheating, I'm sure. <laughs> but that's where it happens and also in the middle of the night when it's pitch black because no lights are allowed in here they're the only two lights that are happening next to the lights on the track so keep tuned I'm going to spend a bit of time around there at different parts of the uh, race from a distance because they're going to be concentrating focused and wired tight on the race so let's come back to it in a bit let's see what's happening in a little while have just missed everyone is the concourse being set up and active but someone up there had the controller plugged in and we had a mass stack so they're just lining it up again now we're going to take a pause we're going to come back in and we're going to go past the concourse and have a closer look in detail and that's what we'll do Well, before we start, before we go down to the grid and have a look at what's happening on the concourse when they start setting up the concourse, what we've got in the actual um, brochure is the official spotter's guide, which gives you the cars, the classes, uh, what's happening, which is good. So uh, I like the way that it's colour coded. So you have red, FLMP1, blue, FLMP2, 
and green for the GT class. And also, the numbers on the actual cars um, indicate what classes they're in, which is quite cool because then at any time, if you're looking at a car, you can ascertain what actual race it's racing in. Because not all racing together, the LMP2s are going to be slower than the LMP1s, and the GTs are going to do their own thing. Um, lots of data here. Well, we'll have a closer look more to when we're on the concourse. And the nice thing is I'm going to have this with me on the concourse, so I'm going to be able to give you a bit more detail on the car as we go through. So early stages, I really don't know. I think it's an open race. But we'll ask a few people in a bit what they think and what their feelings are on if there's any contenders from an early stage. But because it's such a long race, anything can really happen. That's what I like about the concept of this particular slot car race is the unpredictability of what might happen. So you might not have the fastest car on the day, but if something goes wrong with the fastest car on the day, you become the fastest car on the day. See how it works? So we'll take a break from this and we'll have a look at them in detail on the concourse. As you can see here, at the concourse, the team captains have come forward. They are having a look at everyone else's car. They're making, they're making a decision on what they thought of them, and they're gonna pick a winner for the build. And you can see Adam there, he is not letting them off the hook. He's getting right in and inspecting it. This really is not scrutineering, but this is genuine admiration for everyone else's slot car building abilities because these are these slot cars here on the track these literally are the best that you will get anywhere in the world to get on this track to build these cars you have to have significant ability an understanding of engineering, mechanics, aerodynamics, and everything else that goes with it. Right, I've managed to get in track fans. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a slow walk up here. I'm gonna go quiet now, and I'm gonna do a little bit of overdubbing so that I can spend a bit of time telling you about each car in particular. I'm not gonna turn these over. If you want to have a look at the chassis of these, see, have a look at Wayne from Cars Fun mostly. Here we go. Okay, starting with sports car raising, driving a Toyota TS050. They're in the LMP1 class. Fantastic team. Moving on swiftly to DSCA. The Belgian boys are in the house driving a Rebellion R13, also LMP1 class. Looking to do well this year, very strong contenders. Now, I know I promised I wouldn't turn the, chass uh, turn the car right. over, but I can't help myself. I'm one car in and I'm already flipping it over to check the underside. Here we go. We've got the BMW M8 on the track for SRC Eindhoven. Entering the GT class, we've got a real contender, scratch built, custom built at its very finest. Oh yeah, 
Oh, now we're talking. Rockingham are on the track. Team Rockingham sporting a green number six. Alpine 470 Gibson featuring slotted flat six, standard motor. And you notice the open side of the engine can, the motor can, sorry Nick Wade, the motor can is down. Okay, so team, great bar slot car club, love it. Driving the Areca 03 Nissan. First contender we're looking at for the LMP2 class. This is a beautiful car. I love the way it's got the little spot uh, the little light ID light in the driver's cockpit there blue you can see it fabulous bit of kit so we've got the gas monkeys up next in the GT class they're driving a Corvette C7R and a brief interruption there well, we're back to filming looking at demons team demon slot having the Nissan GTR LM. They're also in the LMP1 class. This is gonna be a tough class track fans. So, we've got Great Bar, oh, sorry, I beg your pardon. We've got North Staffs, favoring the AMRV Vantage GTE, Aston Martin, beautiful. Moving swiftly, sorry about this, it's a split screen. Skadira Viking are there with the Areca 03 Nissan LMP2 class strong contenders. This is going to be one hell of a race, guys. So now we're looking at the other part of my split screen. I do apologize. This Garage 27. Fantastic. Driving the Ferrari 488 GTE. And that is the GT class. Fast as lightning, boys and girls. So getting towards the back of the grid, we're looking at Worthing Digitals, Aston Martin, AMR, Vantage GTE. That's the GT class. And finally, we've got a Curie Worthing with the Audi R10 LMP2 class. Love the detail I've got on this. The lighting system they've got on the side, the ID lights work for me, I love that. And then, as you see, once they've gone through the concourse, we all get lined up on the pit lane, ready for sighting laps. This is where we go out and we do a final check of the car. We make sure that everything is all right. And there you go. So let's have a little look. Let's get some build up. I hear the music rising, which is my tone to be quiet. Let's enjoy the next phase. coming out for sighting laps, which means they're going to be <clears throat> testing the controller works, the responsi responsivity to the car, and just do any final tweaks in the last dying minutes before the race starts. As you can see, they're just sorting them out on the edge of the line. Gary's there pulling them into line once they've had the sighting lap, and they'll be ready to go and positioned into their grid positions. Gary is positioning the cars based on their grid positions. 
If we, while he does that, if we take a look up on the podium, we've got the races in place, ready to rock and roll. They've all took the positions. There should be 12 of them there. Yeah, I'm counting 12. As you can see, the grid's being populated now. Gary's taking care of this. And we are ready almost for a start. It is going to be epic. We just move camera positions, just give people the freedom to move in and out. Got a nice back ahead shot here, North Staffs. And we're going to zoom out, ready for the off. In fact, that is it. Okay, here we go. So, got the camera down near the track. We are looking for a great start. A lot of people have worked for a long time on this. Pace cars out. You see that up there. Taking its way around the track. It's gonna come back. I think it's gonna get into the front of these guys and lead them out. Just to remind us, my first session here. So, I'm still learning the process the structure of what happens. But a round of applause for the pace car. It's done what it's supposed to do. And now we quietly wait in anticipation for the race to start. <clears throat> so as you can hear on the turn away, you can hear on the tannoy, we've got two minutes to go. Probably less than that now. One minute to go. And we are kicking off this race. And then we'll keep an eye out to the course of the event. Who's winning, who's improving, who's slipping, who's repairing, who's doing all of the things that you need to master to even look at a controller in this place. So I'm quite excited to see what happens and who takes the trophy at 3 p.m. in 24 hours time at 3 p.m. on a Sunday. It is gonna be sick. So we've got a countdown coming. As you can see, a lot of people are interested in the start. The start is where a lot of carnage, a lot of action happens. I remember from the time at the Rock Bowl, actually got, oh, here we go. Three, two, one. Pace cars out, and they are off. This is Le Mans 2023 Disca slot car race event. And that is the first lap completed and underway. We'll get a handle on these corners as we get into the race and it's a bit more frivolity. Oh, hello. See, they're starting to pick up the pace now. Starting to get a feel for the grip on the tyres, the snaking around the first corners. Le Mans. The 10th edition is underway. And we are off.
And we've got pit lane already. Team Demon Slot are on the table. You can see him up there. They've got an issue. Lewis is there. He's having a look at that. He knows what he's talking about. That'll be turned around really quickly. That's all right, no worries. And we've got some action here. And the nice thing is with three classes on the track, you're racing your race. It's very seldom you're gonna be in a head-to-head, -head, neck and neck with another LMP1, LMP2 or GT. It's just not gonna happen. So race your best race. It's a marathon, not a sprint. And just keep the car in the slots. That's the order of the that's the order of the 24 hours.
I've had about four hours sleep upstairs in a dance studio on a hardwood floor, but it's okay because it's not outside in the rain. Brilliant. As you can see, we've got the lights coming on to simulate dawn, and the other lights will come on over the next hour or two. And actually, I found out that they shut the lights off like this, because actually over the track, how it's set in Le Mans, that is how the sun sets and how the sun rises. <sighs> I love the attention to detail of this place, just the little things that make the difference. It's like a good marriage, the little things, people. Anyway, so I'm gonna leave you with it. I'm gonna have a look at some more race coverage. We'll get amongst some other stuff and bring you some live streaming through the day. You won't see that on this recording, obviously, but flip over to the live section and you can see all of the live action as it happened at the time. I've put in the race scores and here we go. Let's check out some more stuff. <laughs> 